Welcome everybody, welcome to the class today. Today we are going to do an interesting activity. I hope that you all are ready to present your speeches as the uh, contestants for the upcoming presidential election. You, are, you should present your policy statement, uh, the manifesto. I hope that you all are ready. Let's get started without much ado. Uh, Vinuki, I hope that you are ready. Are you ready? Yes, teacher. Right, I'll put you on spotlight. You can start now. Good evening, mothers, fathers, sisters, brothers, aunties, uncles, grandmothers, grandfathers. I contest to upcoming presidential election. My name is Kihaviha. My symbol is Apple. My political party is Pearl Lanka Party. Now I will explain how I develop the country. You know, we don't have money in our treasury. Then we analyze the available resources in our country and found 10,000 nylon rocks, 100,000 plastic bottles, and 100,000 old newspaper. We have to develop our country using these things. Now I say how I develop the education. I distribute 100,000 old newspapers to students and students can read newspapers and develop their knowledge. Now I say to you how I develop the transport. I give 10,000 nylon rocks to bullock cart owners and they can use these nylon rocks to their bullock cart. It will help to improve the transport facilities. Next, we will see how do I develop the health facilities. I can give empty plastic bottles to people to drink water. Drinking water is key habit for the health life. In addition, you can cultivate your land. I believe you have You have mammoths. Please, please produce food. We can export those foods to uh, abroad and become the richest country in South Asia. I hope you like my way of developing the country and reducing the poverty. To achieve this target, please Cast your valuable word to me. Viha, viha. Please remember my symbol is Apple. Thank you for all. Right. Jai Veva. Very good. <laughs> right. Huh? Right. Okay. I hope that uh, uh, all the people in our country, all the citizens, will cast their vote for you and uh, make you the next president of our country. Okay. Then I'll invite the next contestant, Rhythmi, to present her manifesto to us. Rhythmi, the screen is yours. I hope that you are ready. Are you ready? Yes, teacher. Okay, now you can start. Good evening, my dear ladies and gentlemen. I'm hoping to contest for the next presidential election with my name, Metal Ducky, as you know, fire breathing Metal Ducky. And here you can see my symbol, a ducky foot. And I'm glad to say that no battles, only cattle is my motto. Okay, then, without wasting time, let's see how I'm going to develop the country if you cross your word for me. You don't even believe that with newspapers, plastic bottles, and with help of nylon drops, I'm going to protect the country in modernity. Don't be confused. That's the resources I have. The first thing, the education. Education is an important thing. But as Sri Lankans, we have big education resources. It is essential for our next generation. Okay then, I will produce more textbooks by cutting unnecessary words 
from newspapers. We can distribute my 100,000 newspapers instead of test books. So everyone have different, different test books with various knowledge. And the next thing, unemployed. About to solve the unemployment trouble, I can call unemployment people to make test books by cutting letters with two plastic bottle monthly payment. Now the education and unemployment troubles are over. The next thing about transport, my mind reminds me that film I watched about the big food family, as there are big foods hanging in plant creepers and they are there, why can't we use it? In modern movies, they keep a cable and on a triangle and they move there to there. So like that, we can travel using nylon drops and plastic bottles. First of all, tie the bind of nine, 10 nylon drops and move it on and move. I'm sure that it will be an adventurous transportation and not harm to the environment. Okay, moving to the next reason, poverty. We must wipe out poverty. I have a metal idea from my metal ducky knowledge. I can handle poverty by health facilities. See, we can make hospitals from plastic bottles and hospitals can bring one place to another. It will be taken place in modern technology. And then I can suggest poor people to work there in hospitals with two plastic bottle monthly payment as I told you earlier for transportation. So with one solution, poverty and health can slow. Then last of all, if you make me the president, poverty, unemployment, troubles, and hospitals, transport, and education can be slowed. And today I'm glad to say that everyone who presents here, the best thing is about me is I'm a limited edition. There are no any other copies. So don't be afraid to trust your precious word for me. I'm your fire-breathing metal ducky. Thank you. Very good, very good. <laughs> right. So I'm sure that you will win the presidential election. Right. Next speaker is Nehansa. I hope that you are ready. Nehansa, are you ready? Yes, teacher. Right. I put you on spot. Can you please on your camera so that I will be able to put you on spotlight? Wait to me, teacher. All right. Tomorrow is another day. Good evening, teachers and mothers, fathers and brothers, sisters and friends, grandpas and grandmas. I am your disanado. I'm going to develop your country, but for that, you want to give me your valuable words and value. First, I'm going to develop this education. I can recycle newspapers. Then I can get the money of them. Then I can provide scholarships, uniforms, and textbooks to our children. Next, I'm going to develop this transportation. Do you know how that I'm going to do transportation? I can make um, airplanes by newspapers. Then I can make ships by empty plastic bottles. Next, I'm going to develop is elevate pro Poverty. Um, I heard that our country is famous for fruits, vegetables, and um, tea products. So I can sell all of them to various countries. Then I can get money. Then I can provide jobs to my citizens. Then poor people will be rich people. And also, um, um, our um, country will be a famous country in Asia. Second, I'm going, lastly, I'm going to develop is health facilities. I can make saline bottles by nylon rocks and empty plastic bottles. Then um, I can exchange the 
things in our country to various countries. Example, like our friendly countries. Then I can provide money. Then I can get medicines. And I can provide them to our citizens. So that's how I'm going to develop our country. But for that, I need your precious value and votes. Please give them. I only want them. Then I can develop your country. And our country will be a successful country in Asia. So thank you. And also remember, my lucky number is six. And my symbol is crescent. Thank you. Well done. Nice speech, Miss Nehansa. I hope that uh, you two could win the presidential election. Let's see. Right, our next speaker is Miss Tinuki. Tinuki, I hope that you are ready. Yes, teacher. Right, can you on your camera so that I can put you on spotlight? Wait, okay, right. Miss Vinuki, contestant number four for the upcoming presidential election. The screen is yours. Good evening, mothers and fathers, brothers and sisters, daughters and sons. Give you valuable vote for me. My number is number is 50 and my is angel. My motto is my life is my wealth. My funny name is Mrs. Elizabeth. So what am I going to do? Okay, I have 150,000 plastic bottles and 100,000 newspapers. I will sell all of these plastic bottles and newspapers and I can make some buildings from this, from that money. And I can make ponds. Some villagers have hasn't thought to go. I will make ponds that villagers. I will do it definitely. And I will give you jobs. I can give you jobs from telecom. My dear people, give you valuable work to me. Thank you. I vote. Okay, that was inspiring. Uh, all right, then we'll move to the next contestant, Miss Duliti. I hope that you are ready. Duliti, are you ready? Yes, teacher, please give me a minute. Okay. This is an exciting moment. All the contestants are ready to... Excuse me, teacher. Yes. Excuse me, teacher. Yes, I can hear you. May I do next? Right, okay. May then... I do next? All right, all right, all right, all right. Then we'll move to Umeda. Contestant number six, Miss Umeda, I hope that you are ready. Can you switch on your camera? Right. Right. Contestant number six. Are you ready to present your manifesto? Yes, teacher. The public? Right. Okay. The screen is yours. You can start. My name is Father, Sister, Brothers. Please listen to me. My name is Kanakana Dasage Kankambolo. My lucky number is 27. And my motto is borrow today and repay tomorrow. Um, and I have many minutes like respect to the uh, ladies and my symbol is uh, 
Okay, let's see what are my future plans. First of all, I would like to talk about education because that's very important for our future generation. Generation. Okay, let's talk about it. I will get some newspapers. I can uh, make some books. Then I will uh, give them to uh, give them to some children. Then they will be happy. I will get some plastic bottles. I can I I can make some schools then i will give them give it to the some people i think that's very it's a very uh, important things for our develop uh, uh, thing uh, develop our um, education okay let's talk about how can i develop our transport first i will get some uh, plastic bottles and i will make some uh, airplanes and some helicopters then i will be a rich and and i will get some newspapers i will make some big and beautiful uh, vehicles like car uh, okay let's talk about how can i develop our health facility first first i will get some uh, plastic bottles and some newspapers i can uh, make some hospitals and uh, some toilets then then i can uh, give them to some uh, give them to uh, patients then they will be happy i will get some uh, nylon hops and um, uh, newspapers and some plastic bottles and I will make. I can make some uh, beds. Then uh, I will give them to. Uh, I will give them uh, to the to the uh, some peoples. Okay, let's talk about how can I find some solution for um, job problem. Okay, I will take some uh, nylon hops and newspapers and some uh, plastic bottles i can make some factories and small small shops then i will uh, i then i can get some uh, servants to um, that factories and then uh, then uh, our job problem is i think that's a good solution for that problem um, then i uh, let's talk about how can we get money from the other resources? We have many resources like gems. Then I, I, uh, I will tell to the, some people, uh, go and bring some uh, gems, then they will bring, then I will get them and uh, I will export to, the, to the, some another country. We will be rich. Um, I, uh, brothers, fathers, sisters, uh, aunties i have many solutions like this please give your valuable word to me then poor people will be will be a rich people and all the things are being good and i will be a next president of this country i go right Right, Ms. Sumeda, it seems that you are having many wonderful innovative ideas to develop our country. Wish you all the best. And uh, we'll move to the next speaker. Uh, next, I hope Duliti is ready now. Duliti, are you ready? Yes, teacher. Right, okay, that's the spirit. Okay, then we'll see. Can you please on your camera so then I can put you on spotlight? Okay. <laughs> right, okay. I hope that you are ready to present your uh, manifesto. Right, okay. The screen is yours, Ms. Tuliti. You can start. Good evening, everybody. Uh, I, I'm, I'm Gajaman Nord, Gajaman Pancha. Uh, 
This is my symbol. My symbol is a what? Uh, my lucky number is seven. So, uncles and aunties, brothers and sisters, grand grandmothers and grandfathers, give me your valuable vote for me. Now I am going to talk about how do I develop the education. I am going to I am going to build schools by using old newspapers and plastic bottles. Uh, I am going to give all newspapers to children so they can read them and um, develop their education. Um, now I am going to talk about how do I develop the transportation. Um, I can clean the road by using all newspapers. I I can also make some medicals by using plastic bottles and or newspapers. I talk about how do I uh, develop the health health facilities. Um, I'm going to develop the health by uh, I'm going to give all newspapers to scientists. So they can read them and get some idea to how to make medicines. So they can create new medicines and uh, give them to pharmacies. Um, so, so uh, please give me your valuable vote for me. Thank you. And remember, this is my symbol. My symbol is a watch. Wish you all the best, Miss Duliti. We'll hope for the best, right? So I hope that uh, you will get more votes uh, uh, at the presidential election. Okay, but then we'll move to the next contestant. Our next, next contestant is Lithumi. Lithumi, I hope that you are ready to uh, present your uh, manifesto, right, wait a bit. Right, little me. <laughs> right, okay. The screen is yours. You can start your speech. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I hope to contain for the next presidential election. I, I hope you all know about me, but people in here who did not know about me now. So let me tell you a bit of my information. I hope to join with this my name, Chin Chin Ha. And my motto is no magic, only logic. Oh, sorry, no logic, only magic. And this is my symbol. It's a cashew nut. Let's see how I'm going to develop the country with my resources. All newspapers, empty plastic bottles and nylon drops. First of all, let's see how I'm going to develop the education. Here's my plan. I give some newspapers and nylon drops to young people and I will tell them to prepare books like following method. First, Take some newspapers and make a hole or corner of newspapers and ten nylon drops through it. Then it will be a textbook now. Then we can use it to learn. Then let's see how I'm going to develop the transport. First, I will take some bottles and cut them as shoes, which used to write scared. Okay. Then we can translate very quickly and very well. So next is health facilities. Mm, I have a beautiful idea about it. Develop health facilities. Here is it. I will make poles out of bottles and wrap them around nylon drops. 
then I will make make a dog in one place. Then I can make hospital like this. Now let's see how I'm going to alleviate, alleviate poverty. I will tell some poor people to take the books made from nylon ropes and newspapers and distribute them. Then I will give them to nylon ropes and bottles. Then they can make houses. No, it's chance for poor people. Then see how I will solve an and un unemployment problems. Here's my plan. I will give some nylon drops and newspapers and bottles to people who didn't have a proper job. And I will tell them to um, make creative crafts like pen holders. Then I will tell them to distribute um, crap. <laughs> distribute um, crafts then they have a job now so if i'm the if i become a president you will have everything without faith like hospitals education jobs transport and remember if i become president it would alleviate poverty so ladies and gentlemen Grandmas and grandfathers, daughters and sons, give your valuable vote to me. Think before you vote. I will wait for your vote. I'm changing heart. Thank you. Well done, Miss Lithami. Right, that was really an inspiring speech. Uh, so it seems that you are having many good, wonderful ideas to develop our country. Uh, so I hope that you will get more, more and more votes at the upcoming presidential election. Thank you very much for devoting your time to come here to, pres to present your manifesto. Then we'll move to the next contestant, contestant number eight, Mr. Harita. Mr. Harita, I hope that you are ready. Okay, he's ready. Mr. Hari, the, the screen is yours. You can present your okay. menu. You okay. can start. Okay. Mothers and fathers, sisters and brothers, aunties and uncles, grandmothers and grandfathers, sons and daughters. My dear friends, as your next president, I request you to give your valuable word to me. It helps me to become next president on this beautiful island. I promise you, I will develop this country. Let's see how can I develop the transfer. I can make clothes using nylon clothes and I can make words using portable so they don't see. And let's see how can I develop the education. I can color newspapers in white so white newspapers will become new books for children. And further I used to give each and everybody white newspapers and they can improve their knowledge. Next, I can deal up the heads. I can make beds using nylon clothes. Moreover, I can make walls and toes using water bottles and newspapers. Let's see how can my wife outdoor it. There are a lot of rich people in our country. I will tell them to share their money or else I shall punish them. I can solve and an employment problem. I will tell poor people build new things using nylon drops and water bottles and also water newspapers. It will ex I will export them. We can get money. I have many ideas to make this little island fell of the uh, Indian Ocean. So remember, give your valuable work to me. Thank you. It was inspiring, Mr. Haritha. So I hope that you too would get more and more votes at the upcoming presidential election. And thank you very much for coming to share your manifesto to us today. Right, then we'll move to the next contestant. Contestant number nine, uh, Mr. Tharapati. 
I hope that you are ready, Mr. Tharapati. Right, uh, yeah. can you switch on your camera? Okay, very good. Right, wish you all the best, Mr. Tharapati. The screen is yours. You can start your speech. Fathers, mothers, sisters and brothers, uncles and aunties. My name is Alagiyavanda Lokubandar Parage Sumana Sirijayatilaka. My symbol is Ispro. My political party is Danita Kami Force. So please go vote center next Monday and put your valuable vote for Spro. Don't put your valuable vote in real Spro. Put it near the Spro symbol. So fathers and mothers, we have only less resources to develop our country. But I can develop our country. Okay, now I am saying, how can I develop our country? First, I will develop our children's education. How can I do it? I will get 15,000 newspapers and distribute all our schools. Then our children can learn how to write letters and how to read books. Then other 85,000 newspapers I will recycle and make ornaments. Then these ornaments I will send other countries. In that money, I will buy, I will buy other countries. I will sell other countries. In that money, I will get medicines to our pharmacies. Then all nylon ropes I will give our tailors and I will make garments. A little of them I will sell other countries and I will get iron and give it to our blacksmiths. Then they can make farming tools. After making tools, farmers can cultivate. Then we have foods. Then our old empty plastic bottles, I will recycle. And I, these all recycled plastic bottles, I will sell and get by vehicles. Brothers, uncles, my name is Alagiyavan Lokupandarage Sumana Sirijayatilaga. My symbol is Spro. My political party is Janita Kami Force. So please go vote center next Monday morning and put your valuable vote for Spro. Don't put your valuable vote in real Spro. Put it near the Spro symbol. So fathers and mothers, we have only less resources to develop our country. But I can develop our country. Okay. Now I am say how now I say how can I develop our country? First, I will develop our children's education. How can I do it? I will get fifteen thousand newspapers and distribute all schools. Then our children can learn how to write letters and how to read books. Then other eight 85,000 newspapers I will recycle and make ornamentals. Then these ornamentals I will sell other countries. In that money, I will get medicines to our pharmacies. Then all nylon ropes I will give our tailors and it will make garments. A little of them I will sell other countries and I will get iron and give it to blacksmiths. Then they can make farming tools. After making tools, farmers can cultivate. Then we have so many foods. Okay, I promise to make our country as prosperous country during my tenure. So fathers, mothers, and sisters, brothers, please put your valuable word for straw. I go on, one of them, and I love it. Thank you for being with me. <laughs> it was a very practical uh, policy uh, statement, Mr. Tharapati. Wish you all the best. Then we'll move to our next contestant, Mr. Nethul. Right, wait, Nethul, I'll put you on spotlight. Okay, now you're spotlighted. You can start. Hi, I am your next president of this Donkey Island. 
My name is Urupole Gangkukula and I am contesting from X symbol and my lucky number is 1 and my lucky pet is also hen. My lucky color is black. My motto is to give a hen for each family. Let's see how I am going to develop education. I will distribute 500 all newspapers to students to read and improve knowledge about technology. I will arrange an exhibition for the students to make rockets with remaining old newspapers. We will select the best rockets to rocket to and send it to Sun. Let's see how I am going to develop transportation. I will use 500 plastic bottles to each family to make their own boat to travel around the island. Remaining bottles I will send to recycling center and I will make big plane out of them. I will use the that plane to transport donkeys to other countries. Let's see how I am going to develop health facilities on employment. I will make a donkey donkey beds and nylon, with nylon ropes and give them to health sector employees to have a better sleep at their work. I think sleeping during working time will make the health sector more efficient. Let's see how I am going to oh, alleviate poverty. I will give remaining nylon ropes to them to make their own fishing nets and fish fishing with their own boats. Please use your precious word on me to make you all donkeys. Thank you. Very good, uh, Mr. Nethul. It was a very practical and inspiring speech. Uh, wish you all the best. I hope that you too would get more votes in the upcoming presidential election. Then let's move to uh, next contestant, contestant number 12, Mr. Ramiru. I hope that you are ready to present your policy statement. Mr. Ramiru, can you switch on your camera? I'm sorry. I'm yes, sorry. Now, now, right now is the turn to uh, Ms. Ruhansa. I'm sorry. Please, uh, I beg your pardon. Now is the turn for uh, Ms. Nuhansa. Ms. Nuhansa, are you ready to present your? Right, okay. Uh, we can talk... you see my screen? Yeah, we can see your screen, but not in the presentation mode. Now, teacher? Uh, now I can see, wait, uh, if you on, you switch on your camera, so I can put you on spotlight, so the others can see your face. No, teacher, I don't have a camera. All right, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry. Okay, you can start now. I wonder, Dej, I wonder that you can see my screen now. No, I, we can see your screen now. Yes, that's in the uh, presentation mode. Yes. Okay. Uh, like the past year, in this year too, I thought to present in this uh, presidential election. So, uh, I'm your beloved Neely. So, I wonder you all will give your valuable vote to me. So, Let's go towards and find my motto and my symbol. My motto is this pig. So don't be afraid to put a cross, a cross a in front of this prey. So vote for me and I'll be your voice. My, my motto is when nothing goes right, go left. So it's just a normal thing. If nothing goes right, we have to go left. With, uh, re with the resources that I have, let's see how I develop this Sri Lanka. It means my country. Let's start with this education. Uh, for the, uh, I'll develop this education by giving all newspaper for every single student in this country. Then they will learn and uh, they will learn how to read and how to write. And let's go towards the health facilities. If I talk about health facilities that I'm giving to them, I'll give free uh, 5 million of plastic bottles to each of uh, hospital in this country. And I give nylon ropes and all newspapers too. 
If I give these uh, all plastic bottles, I wonder that it will be a very important thing for every single hospital. If I talk about transportation, if I talk about transportation, I'll uh, give plastic bottles to make some uh, cars and aeroplanes and uh, bikes too. So with help of them, I wonder that it, uh, we can go outside with these things. So let's go, how I solve the, the problems of the unemployment persons? I'll give nylon ropes to them to make some creative things and sell them. And these are all old newspapers too. So at last also, I need to tell uh, I know you guys ready to vote me. So the power of your vote only will win me. So it's not a reason to post this election due to this COVID-19 pandemic situation. So I, I, I virtually asking from you, uh, please give your valuable, valuable vote to me. And thank you. And really thanks for coming. At last also, the power of your word. Wish you all the best, Ms. Nuhansa. It was a very comprehensive speech. Everyone is clear about your uh, ideas, about your plans, how we're going to develop the country. I hope uh, our people will vote for you. Wish you all the best. Then we'll move to the next speaker, Mr. Ramiru. Contestant number 12. Are you ready? Yes, Peter. Right, uh, right. Good evening. Wait a bit, wait a bit. Good okay. evening. Welcome on screen, Mr. Good Ramiru. Evening. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, brothers and sisters, sons and daughters, grandmothers and grandfathers. I'm going to face next presidential election. I am Satakanage Kavasinya. My symbol is a growing tree. See, it means I will develop this country and eat it. My motto is do what is easy, not what is right. My lucky number is Zero. Give your valuable vote for me. I'm going to develop this country using 100,000 old newspapers, 100,000 plastic bottles, and 10,000 nylon ropes. And for the education, I'm going to use 20,000 newspapers and then I'll cut every single article about education, just like this. And I'll make a book from them. Then I'll give it to children so they can study like this. Now about transportation, I'll get another 10,000 newspapers and 1,000 nylon rocks and make aeroplanes big one like this oh it went far now i'm going to develop health i'll make hospitals using twenty thousand plastic bottles if you need then i'll give ten thousand old newspapers to doctors then they'll read it and they'll discover new medicine to alleviate poverty, I'll give 20,000 old newspapers to people, then they'll find a way to make money. And I'll give 40,000 plastic water bottles so they can make anything with it and sell. To solve unemployment problem, as I told you before, I'll give 20,000 newspapers to people so they can make anything. 
so it will be their job and also from remaining resources i'll make building houses etc so they can get jobs from them finally i say give your valuable vote for me i'll be the best president that you can imagine thank you bye bye thank you so much mr ramiru wish you all the best uh, it was a practical a practical uh, plan so i hope that our people will vote for you at the next presidential election right let's move to the next speaker of the day uh, miss chama i hope that you are ready teacher can i do last uh right then next we'll move to netuli right so then after netuli chama so then uh, you have to do this speech after netuli so then uh, okay. you will be the last speaker is it all right okay teacher right netuli now you can share the screen and present your manifesto I'm sorry, Miss Netuli. Uh, we can't hear you. Did you share the sound? Did you share the sound of your computer? Okay, teach. Okay. Please check whether you shared the sound. You should uh, put a tick to that. uh to that place uh now it uh, to the place at the place where you have to uh mention whether you want to share this computer sound put a tick at that place teacher i am join my phone teacher computer right so you joined using your phone right so then now see whether you can share it and uh, do it okay teacher oh yes sir why can't you uh, um, why, uh, why can't... now our next contestant Contestant number fourteen, Miss Chama, is ready to present her manifesto. Welcome on screen, Miss Chama. Hi everyone, I contest to upcoming presidential election. I'm your Udayat Manke. My symbol is sun. My motto is a bright future. My number is lucky eighty-eight. So mothers and fathers aunties and uncles grandmothers and grandfathers sisters and brothers sons and daughters give your valuable vote to me Today I am here to launch my manifesto As you know our country is a very poor country our resources are so limited So first I am going to give plastic bottles to general public and I will ask people to make new products using that plastic bottles then i can solve an employment problem and then i will export them to other countries and then we will able to get foreign exchange and i will buy some sport materials using that foreign ex exchange and then i will give them to the people and they will engage in sport and then they can be physically mentally socially and spiritually healthy people then there will less hospital hospitalization and i will give newspapers to general public and then children can read them and develop their knowledge 
and they can write letters on their newspapers. Not only the children, elders also can read them and they will be able to free from mental stress. Then the number of people admitted to mental hospitals will also decrease. And then I don't want to spend time and money to develop health facilities. Let's see, how can I develop transportation? I can make buses and trains by using nylon ropes. Then people will use public transportation. Then I can decrease air pollution as well as noise pollution. Then the environment will become a beautiful place. Then tourists will attract to our country. Then tourism will develop. By all those things, I will able to alleviate poverty. So give your valuable word to me. If you give, more, give your valuable word to me, I can develop this country. Thank you. It was a very inspiring and practical speech, Ms. Chama. I hope that you would get much words uh, at our at the president at that uh, upcoming presidential election. So now that all all our speakers, all the contestants delivered their speeches, presented their uh, manifestos for the general public. I hope that. Uh, we all enjoyed this session today. You all actively take part in this presentation. I'm really happy about it. We all enjoyed the day. Uh, so then let's wrap up the session. Uh, so I want all of you to uh, record, uh, video these, uh, your speeches individually and send me through WhatsApp. So I can upload them to our Facebook fan page and YouTube uh, channel. So uh, shall we wrap up the session?